In this tutorial, we're going to explain the course of uh, artery in the heart, which is called the ramus intermedius artery, which can be present in approximately 15 to 30 percent of cases. And it is a third vessel that arises through here, um, where normally the left main coronary artery divides into a circumflex and a left anterior descending artery and at this point here you would get this third vessel arising which supplies the free lateral wall of the left ventricle. We have a case here which has a ramus intermediate artery. As you can see this patient has already a LAD stent and the ramus intermediate artery goes at the trifurcation point towards the lateral margin and supplies this portion of the heart. The peculiarity of this vessel is that unlike the LAD and the circumflex this tends not to lie in an anatomical groove and runs along the free wall. The ramus artery can either function as a diagonal branch or as an obtuse marginal branch. References containing links as to coronary arterial variants and anatomy are attached below.